Hey everyone, uh, this time the live will be a little bit different compared to the previous one. Uh, it will not be live, it will be recorded. Uh, the reason that I'm facing some internet connection problems, sadly I have no idea when that's going to start again. I have no idea when I'm, that's going to be fixed. So I had to improvise, so I decided to record it in order to post. So as soon as I have my connect internet back, I'm going to post it. Today I want to talk about a topic that uh, in the previous lives we talked about artificial intelligence. Uh, I decided to give a break, then we'll come back to artificial intelligence again in the next lives. So it's the next lives, I hope. Uh, but it will be artificial intelligence. I don't know, it could be recorded, but I hope it will be alive. Uh, now I'm going to talk about a topic that's very interesting to me. It's called the, the topic, the publish or perish. Uh, that, that's a name that just makes sense if you are from the academic world. If you are outside of the academic world, you may not understand what that means. That means that you should publish to be, uh, to have a, a place in the academic world. It means that is uh, every, every, every inch of your intellect should be uh, concentrated on publishing. So the life of, of a scientific, of a, of academic, of a scientific, of a scientist on the on the current age is all about publishing. You publish, you publish, you publish. That's all. I mean, you just become a kind of a gear on the publish on the publish house. Uh, for now, now it just exists to feed uh, publication system. Uh, scientists they have resistance to admit that. Some of them feel offended when they, when they, when I say this kind of thing. Uh, recently, I, had, I received a kind of criticism on Facebook that they said something like, uh, "If you are right, you do not ha you, you you wouldn't have elite university." But the very fact that they have elite university is the very fact that you use metrics to that. How you decide that the university is elite by a lot of kind of metric. I not say that elite university is not good. Pay attention to that. Do not take my word in the wrong way. I, I may say that the way they measure it favor much more this kind of elite university and, it, and they leave out a huge amount of stuff they leave, they leave out a huge amount of talent and a huge amount of the of the way that science could be done as one example uh it's already known it's not my it's not my opinion it's already known uh, i'm going to mention in the end i'm going to mention a book which talks about that uh, uh the publisher per system they favor uh science from Countries such as the United States and the UK, uh, they not favor national science. In the case of Brazil, for instance, uh, my advisor, my supervisor, one time asked, uh, told that he, he does not publish on national journals. National journal, in general, in general, they publish uh, think they are interested to Brazil. So it means that it's not specific to this problem. All over the country, you can just publish stuff that the, the mainstream journal is going to accept, which is just the mainstream research which means that research that is peripheral, which is not like in the mainstream, is not going to be published. Which go, when it's published, it's published in the way of the, like he is uh, shared journals, which means that he, uh, one nice example I like to give is, is, is deep learning. I know that I give this example a lot of time. I know that I keep repeating the example because the example is very easy to me to explain. It's very interesting. Uh, Deep learning is one of the biggest revolution of the current century or decade. Deep learning was not developed as a mainstream. It was developed in the background because paper was being rejected. Uh, I, I, this lie is very challenging to me because it's very easy for people to get offended because of this lie. Because, I mean, people, I, I'm pretty sure that you, if you feel offended, most likely you belong to the elite. I mean, elite are called to the, to the metric. So you are winning. Uh, I have never seen a very rare except, as exception. I have never seen a very rare exception. A white man defend black man. I have never seen a, a man that is in, in the position of privilege is win the game, defend someone that is losing the game. There's always an exception, but the, those are exceptions. Generally, if someone defend a, a system, a status quo, they are winning. Uh, and they they don't give a damn if something else is losing. First, for example. One of the biggest consequences of the publisher perish is punish innovation, is publish creativity. You may say, that's your opinion. Okay, I'm going to leave for you a cup of book, but I challenge you as well to, uh, to, uh, to forget a little bit about what you, you, you are saying. I, I, one thing that I have learned on Facebook is that people keep repeating the same, the same, the same story again. Uh, and uh, one of my books that I published was about reviewer. 
the other reason it's to publish the book was precisely because people keep repeating again and again the same old story, such as a reviewer is going to make a kind of replication of the work. Review is never, is never going to do that. Reviewer is a very uh, superficial look on the paper. So the reviewer is failing in the publisher paper is based on the review process. Uh, I wrote a book in this book. I, I, I give a very nice example about Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein was nervous about the publisher pair system when he started to develop it. The previous work of Einstein was not on the same system. Uh, most of the work that they have today, such as the double Alex and so on, they were not published under the publisher under, under the publisher pair system that we have today. So this system today, some people call it a plague a plague on the scientific world. So it's not my opinion, again, it's on some books. So uh, I ask you if you feel offended, if you feel like I'm attacking you, I'm not attacking you, I'm, I'm trying to prove the reflection. I'm trying to pr propose a, a, a very honest way to think about the, the how science is, what would be the future of science? It would be like shadow, like you have a shadow science and you have the mainstream science. The shadow science may be uh, the creative part. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I did a PhD. I, very, I have to be honest. I, I'm very disappointed how science works. That's one of the reasons why I decided to do this kind of work here. Because I want to make sure that yeah, I have my opinion publicly available. So if you decide, I, I do not hope to change anything fast, even to change something. I just hope to take it out to let people know what I think about the current system. I was, I feel that I was ex excluded from the system. So I'm one of this kind of person, most likely you say, you are saying that because you lost. Maybe I, I just could not accept the system. I just could not uh, accept the way it works. Uh, uh, one nice, nice example I I like to to give is back is about grades. I since I was well, my bachelor, it was very easy to see that the grade does not work the way people intended to work, the way people think that it should work. Uh, one example that I like to give is that he, is that he, uh, whenever you 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 just a minute, I have just check here. I like check because I'm tired to work fine. Uh, I think it worked fine. So uh, 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 I remember on, on, on the university, uh, I guess professor, they like themselves, maybe they even know that, that he uh, grade measure how smart someone is. But it's not true. Uh, I have seen several ways students can game out the system. They can lie to the system. They can even lie to themselves. I myself, I took the hard way. I used to study for a month for examination. Some friend of mine, they used to find a way to study just uh, for a very short period of time. And they used to get very great, even better than mine sometimes. I remember one case of a student I, I spent a month trying to understand what the professor was saying. Uh, I, I even talked to him, I discussed him in the classroom. I was very happy with the lesson. I was very motivated. But when I did the examination, a friend of mine, she never went to the class. She took the note of somebody else she memorized what the professor was saying. She got a much better grade than mine. It was just one example. Again, people say that I'm just, I'm just trying to make my, I'm not trying to make generalization. I'm asking you if you believe that's true. At least I have seen this repeat over and over again. In several places I was, I did a mass of science in Italy. I did a PhD in Italy. I did a part of a mass of science in Poland. I saw the same system repeated over and over again. And by the book I read, uh, most of them are for the United States. I have to guess that that's the same United States. Uh, the only reason someone is not a, not want to hear that is because they are winning the game. They believe the game is fair. Of course, if you are winning the game, the game is fair. We have this tendency to use our own experience to validate the, uh, to validate the world. But you should be honest enough to, to say that it's not necessarily true. You should think big. Like he, uh, our current system, they value too much. Uh, people that think is small, like he, today have the name like he, uh, publication is lies, like a salon publication, like you may, should always lies the publication. I'm reading a book about the, uh, about the, right now I'm reading a book about the uh, pseudoscience, scientific uh, science denial, and the author is start the beginning says something like, I want to publish a book before, but I could not publish because the scientific uh, word, a uh, word, very small uh, bunks of uh, very small uh, movement, like very small publication, very small uh, work, like uh, publication, publication, publication. 
then her case was a, a book book take more time to write to harder to write so it makes me sad sometimes because of course you may always say that he, you are a loser you lost then now you want to change the system I, I don't have this hope but at least I have the hope to 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 put some my thought out there and I guess it's not it's not a crime to let me know that it, I do not agree. I never agreed with the system, to be honest. And since the beginning, I know this kind of very strange pattern. So uh, meritocracy, which is the system that people say that you, if you ask someone uh, if, the, if the universe is meritocratic, people say most likely yes. So meritocracy is a system by which merit is the main drive. That's what I thought as well. When I watched the academic world, I thought that merit would be the, the main, the, 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 the core game, but it's not totally true. Uh, one example, I uh, sometimes even, I even lost hope that whenever I see someone that was, for example, in Brazil, it happened as well, someone that he is elite on a university, that they are prof, a pro, elite professor, you can even guess his history. Most likely he came from a very good family. He went to study in England. Think, uh, just remember, someone who can go to study in England most likely he is he's, he's come from a very rich family or very good family that had money to send him abroad when i was in the university uh, most of my friends they, they they had money to go to spend like six months in, in canada and so on when i went abroad i went because i won a scholarship i didn't have money to go abroad so if, if you say that someone is is get the merit because he can uh, have a and money to go abroad, that go also, also contaminate science because uh, the, the, this guy will be the PhD of tomorrow, they will be the scientist of tomorrow. And so you are saying that uh, uh, the lottery of family, the lottery of money is always contaminate the science because the scientists that you have today, they are necessarily the, the people that were able to study, to, to go to a uh, Universe. For me, there is no no way to justify that he, the lottery of geography, the lottery of family, the, the lottery of richness is necessary. Uh, what justify the, the the brain? I think very smart people can be born outside of the rich family. So I think it's if science really want to be a, to be called meritocratic, uh, it should revise its own way of of selecting. Uh, I'm going to check from type from here, but so. Uh, the idea of meritocratic is merit. Uh, aristocracy has its the it's, it's, it's the it's the out now to have meritocracy. Uh, this book here is a book that inspired me to do this live. This book is talking about meritocratic system. Yeah, he called trap. Why it's a trap? As as he explained. It's a way that you supposed to give us the idea that it's uh, just the good people are winning the game. This case was specifically for the reward, not specific about the academic world. But that, I asked myself, what about if this meritocratic trap is all inside the, the academic world? I have already seen that several parents that can say that's true. Make, for example, uh, one parent that I said before, uh, just just make a test in your country. In Brazil, I have already seen this pattern, this pattern repeat over and over again. So whenever I see a, a, an elite professor, uh, most likely he came, he, he he was able to study abroad. Most likely, like like most likely he went to uh, to England, uh, United States, and so on. So most likely he had money to pay for this expense. He was not there because he was uh, the best, uh, most likely of the country. He was there because he had money to be to have his study financed. So for me, this this is a the same phenomenon that was noticed on this book here, meritocracy trap, which was which was in United States. Essentially, the book say that he, uh, whenever you have money to pay to private tutor, to pay for to have a kind of house in which you can study, to have a family environment in which you can work, that will dictate to which university go, then dictate to you which job you're gonna have. So. Uh, uh, this is not the only book I read about the, the meritocracy problem. I read another, another book as well. The other book, they always put university as the main, as the, as the, as the, the way by which the meritocracy, the meritocracy issue is created. So university is there. They are there to decide uh, who is going to win, who is going to lose. Uh, the scientific world is the same. Because uh, whenever you do a master of science, whenever you do a PhD, it's already a function of which 
a graduation got. If you got, a, let's say, a graduation on a very famous university, that's going to increase your chance of getting a Master of Science, which is going to increase the chance of you getting a Master, a PhD, which is going to increase the chance of you uh, become a scientist. So, uh, so as, as you can see, the, the meritocracy trap is, is also inside the academic world, as I, as I see it. It's not specifically from the, the society. It will all contaminate the academic world, which for me is a little bit sad. Uh, so, more or less, how, this is how it works, the meritocratic system, in a very simple, in a very overall, in a very simplistic, in a very, uh, in a very generic way. So, you have the concept of merit. Merit should be something that someone measures, and they say that he, uh, just, uh, and they say that he, that's how I decide that you are good, that's how I decide that you are bad. So, I should have a way to measure it. The, I think the big the big flaw is here that he, the way you measure it is is going to create the problem. Uh, in the academic world, you measure it by number of publication, as you're going to see in the next in the next slides, multiplied by the the, the, the impact of factor such as you publish in Nature, you have a much more chance of getting a scientific good the career, good job. Uh, so you decide what should be counted as good. Essentially, you, you, decide, you, you divide the world between what's bad and what's good, just based on, based on this kind of, ma of merit. So in order to have a merit, you need to have a measure. You, can, you cannot have, you cannot say something is merit or not if you do not have a way to measure. Uh, people are so alienated, in my opinion, at least in Brazil, regarding this, this, this measure, that they, they do not even ask or want to ask about it. Why? Recently, I was like criticized on Facebook, uh, on a Facebook group of a very of a young scientists, in which they are so alienated of this metric, they are not asking whether you should really be evaluated on the number of publication. Are you sure that the number of publication is a measure of creativity, is a measure of innovation, is a measure of intelligence? Even on the on the real world, the IQ. Uh, there are several books talking about IQ. It's not a measure of intelligence. I, I was reading a book about the, the hidden habit of genius. Uh, as the author say, every way to measure genius, they failed. So, uh, so uh, uh, all the measure that you have to say that someone is a genius, uh, to measure success, uh, they fail. So they fail. So if they fail in the in the genius way, in the genius world, why you should think that in the academic world? Uh, you, uh, we found a way to measure the success of someone. It, for me, it makes no sense. I, I mean, but anyway, uh, so uh, the inclusion exclusion. So uh, after you, you have a measure, after you have a measure, you have a sequence of which to decide uh, who should go in and who should go out. You should now you should have a way to to eliminate uh, someone that's out, someone that's in. Generally, it's done by resource. Decide who's going to have a lab, who's going to have a kind of money to finance his research, and so on. People, are, I mean, this life is very complicated to me because I'm here. I'm very uh, like voice in my head that I'm going to offend a huge amount of people, especially the one that was able to win the system. Uh, same time, not say that these people are stupid. I'm just saying that people maybe they're not so uh, smart as the as the as the metric is trying to put them. If you if if you do not have self critics, I'm very afraid because maybe you are like uh, uh, every smart people that I know they they not, they not think that they're smart. I mean they have a self this is self criticism, which is like he must some people do not do not seem to have, especially the one that they are able to game out the metric. So, uh, uh, in general, uh, the metrics should be applied in the world. They should be, somehow, they should be uh, put in the real world. I mean, they have a theory, they have a way to think, then they should somehow to use it uh, uh, to select. In general, they're going to use in a kind of automated way. Uh, in general, this is called algorithm. Algorithm is how you're going to use this kind of, uh, this previous uh, way of thinking, you should implement somehow, it's called algorithm. So this algorithm is going to optimize something. The, the, the med should be added to an algorithm. So this algorithm should be, so this algorithm should be uh, optimized. Uh, it should have an optimization, optimization process so that it should be optimized in order to, 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 uh, to be able to, to, uh, uh, to, not to be able to make sure that, uh, for example, in the case of, of publication, 
uh, the optimization uh, criteria is, is, is to optimize the number of publication of the university and to optimize the number of, of publication of something like, such as resource. The more publication you have in a department, the more money you have for the university, and this cycle goes on. So you should optimize, I think. There are, there are optimized enough of publication, which is optimize the number of, of resource, which sadly, in my opinion, is minimizing the number of creativity, the number of outsiders, the number of, of different thinking, the number of, of, of people that think big, like a big theory, uh, like big chunks. Uh, uh, we, uh, we, we are trying to minimize the waste of money, but in the process, you are eliminating out all the kind of outsiders, outside thinking, and so on. I think it's very bad for science, as I see it. So uh, people are set into groups. Uh, this group, uh, they, are, they are set as failures, and they are set as winners, uh, just based on this kind of criteria. So uh, as, as I hear, I'm using uh, an idea of uh, of Cathy uh, O'Brien. I'm mean, using her idea. She said that uh, this kind of algorithm is opinated. Uh, she was talking about the weapon of math destruction. I'm going to mention that on the next live. So uh, why is algorithm uh, opinated? Because who creates the algorithm is going to create the al algorithm according to his own opinion, which is like I said previously. Uh, if you create a way of, of merit, you decide this merit is important, then you, set, you put that inside an algorithm. So that's your opinion. Maybe opinion of a group, but still an opinion that's going to favor a, a, a minor, a small group of people that are able to win the system, either because they game the system or because the system favor the, the one way. For example, uh, the examination of the university, they are not measuring uh, how smart someone is. They are measuring how good they are memory. Because most of the people that I saw close to me, they are able to pass the examination because they have a good memory. I don't have a good memory. My, my memory is pretty bad. In another research, I saw that people have good me bad memory. They tend to be more creative. They tend to be more like he, high creativity. I was very, very active as a creative person. A friend of mine used to tell that to me. So, yeah, precisely when you have an examination, you are, you are eliminating people that have that has bad memory and people that has... Uh, uh, people that have, for example, uh, more creative and so on. Maybe that could explain somehow why, why most of the people that are able to make a startup and so on, most of them, they, they are dropouts. They, they just abandoned the university, they just left the university. Uh, I'm not, because maybe the system is like eliminate this kind of people. But people had two choices. They either find a way to game the system or they find a way to leave the system, which is both the way from is bad. So again, the optimization is opinated. Is that not in this case? Uh, you decide what you want to optimize. You decide what is going to matter, what is going to be punished, or what is going to be rewarded. It's a kind of opinion. So currently, not scientific based because one of the biggest criticism I have is that most of the time uh, we are not measuring the consequence. Uh, we, uh, we create a way to measure the intelligence, the ability of the of someone. But uh, we do not. Uh, uh, we are not following the process. We are not have. We are not getting data to compare whether uh, what you say is the correct one. So you, you, we are not like. Uh, we do not have a way to. Uh, in very rare cases, we collect the information, compare uh, what you say that's measure versus what you really measure. In the case of examination is a very classic example. Even though it's very clear the examination does not measure intelligence, and say a professor knows that, we still keep in doing the system. We still keep in doing the same old uh, system, which for me, it makes no sense, as I see it. So uh, I think that's a very good book. This, this book inspired me a lot. This book inspired me a lot to 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 to, to write to, to do this live to write to another book of mine it's called published by by metric uh, so by offering people a good a, a reward uh, if they do what uh, we want which besides what the, the the metric is doing the meritocracy as you see it's doing is it give a reward such as you get a grant you get a phd you get a very good job in a lab uh, you begin to discover in my research this is a collection of evidence demonstrate that competition holds us back. I mean, I saw that for a, a huge amount of time in my life. Um, there is, I think there are two types of competition. There's the good, the good competition in which we try to, to get better than somebody else, but we do not try to eliminate the other person. The current system, they are very uh, competitive in the sense of eliminating. 
So if you lose, you get out of the system. If you win, you go on. So uh, if someone loses because he does not have a good memory in the case of examination, does not mean that he's unable to make a theory that's very big. I mean, so the, the system is, uh, is a kind of punishment system, that, but a punishment in the sense of eliminating this kind of system. Uh, if you do not publish enough paper, you do not get a job, you do not get a, re you do not get a grant, you do not get money for research, most likely you're going to disappear. Uh, maybe you had a very good idea, very good research, but you are unable to go on with the research. Uh, we, uh, we complain loudly about uh, such things as suggesting as, as, as saying the productivity of our place, uh, but uh, we do the same, as you see. Uh, we, are, uh, we are unable to think our way out of the box. I mean, we complain about the system, as I have seen people complain, as I have seen, uh, but uh, but at a, at a, in the aftermath, it will do the same. Uh, it's called a, a, a skinnier system. It's a very old system that think that well, if you reward some, someone, if you punish somebody else, the book is called Punished by Reward, because the reward is a form of punishment. If you, if you think that I'm going to give you all just uh, some people, you are just punish the people. You are saying that to them that you should do this, you should not do that. And the book, uh, the book is a very good book. As the book uh, trying to give to attention, it's a very old theory that people are not asking the theory. People are not questioning the theory. And the theory is a fraud, according to him. And I, I tend to agree, compared to my own experience. This, this idea that I should give you a reward, I should punish and so on to get what I want. Because for sure, the, the metric they are used on the academic world is a very good intention metric. They want to increase uh, the productivity, they want to uh, reward the good scientists, they want to increase the number of the, of the good work. But in my case specifically, my second postdoc was on a startup. Uh, and I remember a uh, research from a startup, she was saying that the uh, people that go to innovation, they are punished because they publish less. If they publish less, they, 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 they do not get grant and so on. In my case, specifically, I decided to publish books. I know that book does not count as, as, as publication. And the book, for me, is as important as papers. So the only thing that goes to the, to the, to, to the reward system, to the math system, is the number of publication multiplied by the impact factor. As I said before, one of the consequences that journal, the national journals that in general do uh, is concerned about the national problem of each country is not a reward. So it's actually do that because you have a utop utopic board of the world, uh, a kind of a, a way of thinking that I should fight for that, but you never get a uh, result for doing what's important. Uh, so the, essentially the system would be like this. It will create a, you have a set of people, some people will be excluded, some people will be rewarded. Uh, so some people go on to if their academic career, some people be excluded or, or left in the shadow, even though they, they have a, the work that is as important as everybody else, such as one of the people that's punished sadly by the system is the scientific uh, uh, divulgators, people that, that uh, spread science. So uh, when you spread science, you, you create the creativity of young people, you, you, you attract people to science, you also make a very good service because people that do not understand your error, I myself, I like to read about psychology, but I like to read books that are not for psychologists. I like to read books that is for uh, general public. I myself wrote several books uh, from my era, which is bioinformatics, so it's mathematical models applied to biological systems. Uh, to the general public, because I want people to be able to understand what science, what science is doing, what scientists is doing. So, but I know that I'm not being rewarded for that. I know that it's uh, I will be punished because I decide that it's very important. That I make my work as as widespread as wide available as possible. Uh, so I'm the kind of person. Uh, the reason why I do this kind of work is because I know I know from my own experience how bad it is will decide to do a work that's not a reward according to the system. Uh, so essentially the system works like this, you have a, a huge amount of people. Uh, there's, there's a resource that should be shared, and most like money, grant, and so on. Uh, then they create a kind of, of, of a merit. Uh, this merit is going to create a kind of a error. So everyone that's inside this error, here I'm using Euclidean, Euclidean distance. 
uh, I have a book in which I give this kind of association that you should have, you should have a way to measure. Uh, the Euclidean distance is the simplest way to measure. So uh, just to exemplify, but you should have a way to measure. This way to measure is going to put people in and out, uh, in, not just in and out, uh, how close they are from the, from the resource and how far they are. I always wish to see that in the past. Uh, the, the smaller is the resource, the higher is the, the stupid is the, the stupid, the more stupid is the metric they use. I think it's very, very, very fun sometimes how they decided who should have access to resource and, should, and who shouldn't. Sometimes even very fun because even us as a scientist that are supposed to be like scientists, we, we use very stupid metric to decide who is going to have access to the resource, who is not going to have access. So I think I like this example. The, uh, her talks here is called the weapon of math destruction. She showed here how random is the is the is the is, is like is this uh, the uh, uh, she was showing a kind of metric they used to assess a very good professor and a very bad professor. Then she showed that the the, the signal they found here is very low. It's a very 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 small signal. They they were using an, an algorithm created by a, a company. And the company was claimed that they, they were select very good professors. No, they were selecting a specific professor, and they, were, and they were punishing this kind of algorithm. They were being applied to public school, very poor place in the United States. So they were punishing the poor people. They were punishing the public. The public they were publishing the the the, the 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 poor regions. So she, she gave an example, a professor that was very good, everyone knew that she was good, but the algorithm said that she was bad. Then she, she, she lost her job, then she went to a private uh, institution. As she, as she said, the, the, the uh, Cathy O'Brien said, uh, essentially what they did was to send a very good professor to a private institution. So they were punishing the poor people as always. In the case of, in the case of academic world, you are punish the poor country because all the, all the third world countries, they say, because uh, most of the job, they are American, they are British, uh, so they are just interested in work that is like a big idea, interested of the country, and the national work, work that's not very mainstream, they are being punished a lot, the same process. Uh, so how many papers? Uh, so the, how, how the merit in the academia is merit like this, very simple. How many papers were published? multiplied by the impact effect, such as nature or so on. Uh, so that should be equal good scientists. Like like he, this measure here is supposed to tell you uh, that you are a good scientist. I don't think that's the case. I think that's a very, uh, very wrong idea, but sadly it's getting more and more uh, applied. Uh, so it gets harder and harder to, to get rid of this idea because as the name said, it, 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 it's, it's a trap. It's a meritoc meritocratic trap. Because the more you you enforce the system is to reinforce itself because uh, they want to able to get the the privilege they are unable to criticize the system so they keep put this whenever someone criticizes this the the uh, this talk that I'm giving here most likely he is the one that that won so the, he his use his use his uh, his winning to justify the process. As the, as, the, as the author of the book, Bertolt Kerr Trap said, the problem is this the one that is winning, he created a system that his own image. He, he's, uh, he's already noted that as well in the meritocracy trap system, that someone that's winning, he's created a system that's his own, his, his own, his own, or, or, or own image. I think that's the same for the academic world. So they, they're supposed to measure the potential of someone. You're supposed to say how good you are, how your potential, again, uh, they weren't able to find any, a single measure to measure a genus. A genus, they try to use IQ, they're trying to use whatever, but they are unable to measure. So wh why you, uh, we think as academic that you are able to measure a good scientist if you are unable to measure what is a genus? I mean, uh, for me, it makes no sense. It's meaningless, from, as I see it. Uh, the more you publish, the more you get resource, the more you can finance research and get published. And now if they open access publication, the publication are very expensive to publish. So it means that it's, it, again, it's another trap because you, you have to, you, you need money to publish. Uh, if you are able to put the first paper, you get a site that go on, which means that you are, uh, we are not measuring 
how how competent someone is. We are measure how many papers they can publish, which is not the same thing. Uh, which is the same thing as a grade on the undergraduation. Undergraduation you measure not not how competent someone is. You measure how good is their memory, uh, or, or how smart they are to game out the system. So it's a trap. I mean, it's a as I see it, it's a trap. It's like you are going in cycle. You are losing money. You are you are justifying the system, but they are just a trap. So, uh, so as some ability that I think that the system is not catching is based on my own experience. Is based on my own readings. Is based on my own work and reading so on. So feel free to criticize. Feel free to add yours. To let me know if I forgot someone. The first one is think outside the box. Here I'm not talking about the outside of the box of the of this pathetic one that the company I you should think outside the box. But if, if you think outside the box, you get fired. So I, I'm talking about the real one. And I'm, I'm talking about the honest one. The one that should be uh, used. And I'm, I'm not talking about the one, the stupid one that people keep saying that he should think outside the box. But he, if you think outside the box, you get fired. So it makes no sense to me. Uh, the other one is teaching. I mean, the system is punishing the professors. It's punishing someone that likes to teach. If you like to teach, uh, you'll be in trouble because the system is not measuring how good you are as a teacher. It's measure how, uh, it's supposed to measure how good you are as a scientist. It's not, if not, it's not measure even that. Even how good a scientist is not measuring. It's your uh, a social project, such as if you are, as I said before, if you are for a country such as Brazil, uh, the national journals they are punished because they do not have a good grades. They are not count as a way for you to 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 get to, for example, place in the academy and so on. So the big thinking, like long term thinking, like he, the system is is always measure uh, short term thinking, like he. Uh, it's lies like this called the salon publication that you should be like. Well, one time I was I was doing my postdoc and the researcher from the lab, the lead the lead researcher, he published one paper. Uh, then two weeks later, like two months later, he published another paper criticizing his previous paper, correct his paper. I thought to myself, why well, it would be easier to publish just one paper that do all the all the stuff. But uh, what he did is what everybody is doing. You publish one paper now. Uh, two months next, we publish another paper, correct the previous paper. I think that's madness as I see it. Uh, general thinkers, like you, you would like to think like generally, like a big thinker, uh, you, 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 you may want to publish books, you may want to publish uh, theoretical papers, but that as well is very hard to do with current system. With current system, you have to do all the time that that publication that is very very fast the result. You should not publish anything that takes longer to the people like to call it people are not taking risk anymore because the punishment for taking risk is very high. It is very high. It means that you people are keeping doing very small, very uh, uh, the research should be sure that you. Uh, one time I saw a professor that she was doing a very nice work of the biomathematics uh, divulgation. She was creating events, she was creating talks, she was creating uh, course. One time she told me, I'm going to stop to do that because it's not giving publication. So it's not giving publication, I have to focus on the publication. I think, it, I think it was, that was very sad when I heard that because she was doing amazing work. She was helping Brazil to grow up as a biomathematician, as a bioinformatics. It's very sad as I see it. So inner and multidisciplinary work. I, I'm from bioinformatics. I'm from bioinformatics. I know how hard it is to publish papers in this area because uh, the review is hard to find. Uh, the kind of paper that you focus on is hard to find. Then you have more difficult than somebody else that's doing a kind of a multidisciplinary work. So it's very easy for them to publish. Some error is easy to publish. Other error is more difficult. So you are punish everyone equally. So innovation, my, 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 my second postdoc was on a startup. I know I saw how you are punished uh, because in my case, specific case was uh, I got a scholarship from a very special project. So we need a special project to make innovation. Innovation should be part of science. Uh, to use our, our science to make technology should be part of science. Should not be, we should not need a very special project to make sure that science is, has innovation. It should be part of science, not a kind of special parallel in different projects. 
So uh, 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 one article that I wrote that are in Portuguese, so I think that maybe it may be hard for you to, to see, but it's in Portuguese. Uh, uh, one, one that I wrote is the case of the, uh, uh, what I have called, called the case of the, of, the, of, of the bad algorithm. In Brazil, there was a case that was very famous. People, they did a kind of a list to criticize the system. I don't know if it will open that. They they want to cancel the, the, this, but essentially the algorithm was to use the number of publication and to decide who is going to get the scholarship. Uh, I think I use the word bad, uh, the word bad algorithm was a kind of criticism because people, were, the scientists, were, they were very angry. They gave some examples of a, a, a girl, a, 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 a woman, she won a, a very important prize for a young scientist and she lost her scholarship because this kind of prize was not inside the algorithm. And the, so the, this is one example, as I, as, as I like to give, that the algorithm is being used before. It's a, it be, I think the problem, the problem is not the algorithm. It should be always, it should be always, uh, it should always keep attention not to, 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 to burn the wrong, uh, the wrong person or the wrong thing. Uh, the problem is not the algorithm. The algorithm is, we should use algorithm in the future. Uh, I'm, I'm a defender of algorithm. I have done several research on algorithm. I think the problem is not the algorithm. The problem is that you start to use algorithm before it's read. You should use algorithm as, as a pilot, as a, as a startup, to, as, a, as, a, as a project. Then you start to compare the result of the algorithm with the reality. After the algorithm is read, you can use the algorithm. You should not start to use the algorithm before it's read. Like somebody else is being punished by this algorithm. Somebody else is losing their career just because you are using the wrong algorithm to make to take decision. So, uh, they, as as Kato New said, uh, they define their own reality and use it to justify the reality. She, she, uh, she's talking about precisely this one because uh, use the algorithm, then you, you use the only result of the algorithm to justify it. So it creates a kind of parallel reality in which we try to start with the case of the case of of of, 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 of the exam. Exam is just a, a, a just a, a memorizational stuff. Then you use maybe one example of someone that was able to to uh, to, to get success to, to to justify the system. For example, in the case of the, of the, of the, of this book that I was reading, I was reading a book about it, uh, the habit of genius. Uh, the book was saying that the, most of the genes they, they 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 were very bad at school. They uh, have some ex some exceptions. She has seen that Madame Curie she was a very good student, but the, those are exceptions. They were not. If there are exceptions, there's something wrong the way we are, we are measuring talent. I, I, I also in the case of the Nobel Prize, most of the Nobel Prize uh, they uh, they didn't publish that much. If you take the Nobel Prize, there was one case of a Nobel Prize that he said, if it were not for the Nobel Prize, I, I would be left behind. I would be like a fired from the university because I was not published as much as, as you are published now. So I think we should we should rethink the system that is here. You should think uh, what happened with science? What do we want with science? Do we want to make science as a, just a way to make publication to feed the publishing house? The publication is very expensive, like nowadays. Become even hard to publish because of money, not because of you are talented. So it's a trap because you need money to publish. So you, and then you need money to, make, to do the research. You need the publication. I I would like to think the publication in the academic world is a kind of money. The more publication you have, the more money you have. Then the cycle is going on. So uh, it's called the weapon of mass destruction, as 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 or only you should like to to call it. So that's uh, that, that's what I, I like to say. When math is used to punish people and create meritocracy traps on research, that's the topic of the life of this of this video. So that score generated by an algorithm uh, represents half of the raw evaluation. It's it's auto weighted. It's the, that's the case of the professor that she was uh, she was fired and I said previously, and then she found a job in a very in a private institution. The algorithm was called Impact. It was a very it was a private algorithm like Facebook, you cannot open, you cannot see what's inside Facebook, you cannot see what's inside the tweet and so on, because they are a proprietary algorithm, but they are changing reality based on a very on a black box model. So, uh, so 
Now I want to recommend a couple of books. I, I want to give you a couple of books that I think that can help you to, maybe to help you to, to agree with me or maybe disagree with me. Uh, the, the first book that I, 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 I mentioned a lot previously is the book of O'Neill. Yeah, I think it's a very nice book. She talks about uh, several examples about how algorithm is used in the wrong way. Remember that the algorithm is the way that you implement the merit. If you have idea of merit, you have to implement somehow in algorithm. So this algorithm is going to be used to take decisions. So that's a very good book to think about. It. The second book I would like to suggest is, is a very, very nice critique uh, from, uh, on the on the, on the public transparency system. The his amount of example, discussion, it's a very, it has a very bad review on Amazon, but I do not agree. I think the review was not fair. I think the book's good. The book should be taken seriously. The book gave a very important service to think about uh, I'll publish uh, at a, uh, the word publish uh, publish and, uh, and perish is 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 from this book. The book say like you, you are not just publish or perish anymore now. You are publish and perish. So the second book I would, I would like to to to, uh, to suggest is the meritocracy trap. I mean the uh, uh, this talk here, this video here is based partially on this book. This book is um is a how society is creating a trap called meritocracy trap. As all people said, initially the idea of the meritocracy was good. The idea behind is fair, but in the reality, how is implemented is create a trap. The second book is a reward by punishment. It's a very good book. I think uh, can help you to understand how the system that you have of merit create punishment. How it think how it can eliminate some kind of behavior that uh, we want to, to have, such as uh, you may want to have a behavior of a good scientist, but when you punish, when we punish and we reward, we are not creating, you are creating a different system that's much more problematic. So the second book is mine. I mean, I, I have been, I have been studying that for quite a while. Then I decided to publish a book. It's called Punished by Metric. It's in Portuguese, so I, because I wanted to talk about, I want to talk to the Brazilian community. I have a project in Portuguese, which is in Portuguese, so I had such to publish the book in Portuguese. But the book is about how it's a, it's a summary of all the stuff that I, I said before, but I have decided to call it punished by metrics. The consequence to the academic world uh, that you can see, that you cannot see, the perceived and not perceived consequence. So guys, that's all. Uh, guys and girls, uh, that's all. So thank you for your attention and feel free to let me know your thoughts.